Hey there, I'm Robin, and today we are taking a look under the hood at the best way to flush an AC system. To perform properly, the AC system must be clinically clean inside. Refrigerant, lubricant, and precise mechanisms like compressors and expansion devices must be clean in order to operate and work optimally. Flushing is considered one of the most basic and important services and is highly recommended by AC experts, as well as the major manufacturers of compressors. Also, flushing is the only way to determine the proper level of lubricant recommended for the given compressor and vehicle model. One of the major problems for the AC system is inner impurities. The refrigerant and lubricant that are necessary for the system's vital operation can get contaminated by moisture or chemical reactions or the improper use of additives. Now all of these problems can quickly cause clogs in the thin system channels. You can see how thin the microtubes are on modern condensers. This very sensitive ECV valve steers the compressor or expansion valve. All of these can get clogged by something as simple as lubricant that does not match the car's specifications. Any system stoppage can have catastrophic consequences. A stoppage will lead to a decrease in the system's performance and will cause instant pressure increases, creating an abnormal temperature load that is very dangerous for the components, such as the compressor. Also, contaminants and moisture affect the lubricant, impairing its characteristics. These can instantly affect the compressor's mechanical parts, exposing it to seize. In the same way, if the lubricant gets diluted by excessive additive use, like overdosing with UV dye, the improper condition will lead to irreversible compressor failures. So, flushing the AC system, that's the answer. Remember, flushing has two roles. It cleans the loop of impurities, and it's the only way to determine the total lubricant level inside the loop. Now, flush the system whenever it has been diagnosed with clogs, stoppages, or receiver dryer failures. You also want to flush the system whenever there is excessive or improper use of additives such as UV dyes or stop leak agents. And you always want to flush the system before installing a new compressor, because carbonized oil particles, metal chips, and other impurities that caused the previous compressor to fail can quickly kill the new unit if the system was not flushed. Now, in order to flush, the AC compressor must be detached. You'll probably be replacing the compressor after, but if not, we want the compressor to be bypassed from the flushing. The system expansion devices, either the orifice tube or the expansion valve, should be detached or bypassed. The receiver dryer or desiccant should also be removed and replaced after flushing. Now, Because the condenser and evaporator have extremely thin flow channels that cannot be flushed effectively, you always want to replace them whenever you flush the AC system if you suspect they have been contaminated. Now, let's take a look under the hood. Method one, using a dedicated flushing detergent, circulate the detergent throughout the loop and inject it directly from a pressure container like this. Or you can have it distributed by a special flushing machine like that guy over there. This flushing method dissolves all sorts of particles, sludge, stubborn soils, and residues. Method two, refrigerant and filling station. Flush the system by circulating the R134A refrigerant using the filling station. Now, the filling station must be equipped with a flushing function, specially designed filters, and a container to collect the contaminants. This flushing method effectively cleans loose particles, but isn't as effective at rinsing heavy sludge or soil. Method three, refrigerant directly from the bottle. Flush the system using the R134A refrigerant circulated in the loop by heating the bottle. An additional bottle for contaminated gas is needed, as well as adapters and a hose set to ensure proper system connection. Now, this flushing method effectively cleans loose particles, but isn't very effective for rinsing serious sludge and soils. Now remember, for each of these three methods, the cleaning agent residues must be thoroughly removed after flushing, and the AC loop must always be thoroughly dried by a long process vacuum. Now here's a tip. I recommend using a supplementary glass inspection tool to spot possible contaminants circulating in the loop. This low-cost useful tool is recommended for an effective system contamination diagnostic, performed in various stages, before, during, and after flushing. Now once the AC system is properly flushed and all of the necessary components have been replaced, you can charge the empty system with the proper amount of refrigerant 
and the proper amount and type of lubricant. An appropriate lubrication guarantees vitality and a long lifespan of the compressor, ensuring the system's proper performance. Now keep in mind, flushing can save you from repeat repair after installing a new compressor. If you would like to learn more about flushing, visit nissens.com slash climate. You can find a flushing poster there or even get a dedicated app to help guide you step by step. I'm Robin, and thanks for letting me show you what's under the hood.